So I'm getting ready for Hanukkah. I've got all the things I need here, I think. I've got candles. I've got a menorah. I have a dreidel right here that I can spin. And I've even got some Hanukkah gelt that um, I found at my small town grocery store. I mean, here in northern Minnesota, that's difficult. You don't always find Hanukkah things, but there was a box of it tucked in among all the Christmas candy. So I bought that and here I got it to use for Hanukkah. Over here, I've got potatoes and onions and olive oil to make latkes. So you would think I've got everything that I need to make this a joyous holiday. <laughs> I've even got my ugly holiday sweater. This one has dreidels and menorahs, etc. Now nah, it's kind of an American tradition to wear some kind of silly sweater to a Hanukkah party. So you would think that I've got everything that I need to celebrate Hanukkah this year. But I am lacking one thing, and that's community. Because of COVID-19, we are on major lockdown here in Minnesota. No traveling back and forth from one household to another, not even family members. You know, no outdoor parties, no indoor parties. Everybody wears a mask when they go shopping or into any other building. And so my wife is here, you know, and she and I will celebrate together. But it's not going to be like it has been in past years. And I got to thinking, what does this have to do with Hanukkah? How does this relate to Hanukkah? Well, if you think about it, the Maccabees, they were fighting the Greeks with weapons that were visible. They had swords and shields, spears, bows and arrows, probably fists, you know. But these were weapons you could see, and it was an enemy that you could see. And so it was that kind of a battle. Right now, we're fighting an enemy that you can't see. It's a virus. And it not only would like to wipe out all the Jews, it would like to wipe out the whole human race. And the weapons that we have against this virus are things like masks, hand sanitizer, soap and water, you know, social distancing. And they may not seem as dramatic as a sword and shield, but this is what we use to fight against this common enemy that doesn't make any distinctions between nationalities or or political parties or anything, you know, it, it, it just wants to wipe out the people. Now, if you think about it, you know, the Maccabees, they, uh, they had to hide in the hills. They had to social distance, so to speak, from the Greeks. People think that the Maccabean Wars were like one big battlefield, like in, in Braveheart, you know, armies lined up on two sides and they come together and clash. It wasn't really like that. It was more of a guerrilla war, and it went on for a couple of years. And the Maccabees, they would come in, and there'd be a skirmish with them and the Greek soldiers, and then they would retreat to the hills again. And then they would come in, and there'd be a skirmish, and they'd retreat to the hills again. And eventually, they did drive the Greeks out. And the miracle was right was the oil being able to relight the light, uh, literally a light in the temple. And we relight a light in ourselves, a light of hope, a light of caring, a light of love. So COVID-19 is not going to go poof overnight. It's not going to disappear like a miracle, like a certain politician claimed a while back. We are going to have to fight. And it's a battle that's probably going to take us a couple of years before we finally get this thing under control. But when we do, we will be able to come together again and celebrate Hanukkah like we used to do it. And so I wish you all Chag Sameach, a happy Hanukkah.